All right, it's our first morning in Fortaleza, Brazil, currently at Ali's uh, parents' place. We're starving, so we're gonna go head across the street to go find some Brazilian food at the local grocery store, so let's go. So we're gonna get a couple coconuts. Coconuts in Brazil are so much better in the US. Uh, specifically, the water is a lot sweeter, the coconut water uh, here in Brazil. And then also the filling is much more tender and very, very tasty and also sweet. So two hay ice each, that's about what, 50 cents each. So $1 right here, delicious. So here in Brazil, you get not only one, not only two, but three different choices of your uh, cantaloupe. I almost said in Portuguese. You have the yellow Spanish one, this one, which I don't even know what the name is, and the Japanese one. Don't know why it's Japanese. Maybe it does come from Japan. And of course, we're gonna grab some fresh-ish ginger. Turn the beats up. So this is maracujal, known in English as passion fruit. And actually the way that you know if it's good is you actually hold it up to your ear and shake it. And if you hear it moving, then you know it's good. Is that a good one? No. Okay, we only found one good one so far. Hopefully we can find a few more. Grabbing a bag of oranges for some fresh orange juice. It's the best. Okay, so Guaraná is the soda of Brazil. Um, it is made from Guaraná fruit, which is a fruit from the Amazon high in caffeine. It's delicious, it's my favorite soda. Um, this one's also really unique. I maybe even unique to Fortaleza um, area, which is from the cashew fruit. Uh, soda also, soda from the cashew fruit, and a lot of people love it. They only drink this. Um, I like it, but it's not my favorite. This is my favorite. So in pretty much every supermarket in Brazil, they have these little bakeries, buy, usually by the bread, where you can get fresh bread, but they always serve these pastries, delicious. They have um, like filled um, pastries, like coxinha, which is my favorite. They always have these little trays for snacks, sweet and savory. They're not the healthiest, but they're delicious. They have cakes. They also have all these options. They're delicious, especially breaded options. And they obviously have what we call French bread. Or in Fortaleza, you would say pão carioquinha, which would actually be from Rio. Um, so yeah, you can get them fresh and warm, especially in the morning. So something else I found very interesting about Brazil, or maybe just maybe the Northeast of Brazil, I'm not really sure, but it's the uh, Pimenta Vermelha, which is a, what, pepper jam or pepper jelly. A little bit spicy and kind of sweet and spicy. I don't personally like it at all, uh, but kind of something interesting to maybe try when you're in Brazil. So some of the best tea that I've had is actually from Brazil. Specifically, my absolute favorite is the hibiscus tea um, here in Brazil. Extreme, it's almost like juice. It's so full of flavor, very, very juicy, it's delicious. Uh, and then I'm gonna try a couple others. Um, so some green tea, you can see leaves just kind of ripped up, very different from a lot of teas that you might find in the US or other places in the world. And then uh, Cha Esibe, uh, which I'm not really sure what it is, but I'm gonna give it a try. So I've been bullied in the US about this because everyone tells me that this is baby food, but here in Brazil, everyone drinks this type of milk. You just put the powder in and water or anything else, the coffee that you want, and then instantly becomes liquid, I guess, instantly.
All right, so we just got back from the supermarket and we got all of this for literally only 30 US dollars. And I'll go through this in a second, but what I want you to do is comment below and guess which item here was the most expensive on our bill. But it's crazy, all this for $30, you could easily spend that um, eating out you know, with two people and this is definitely gonna last us for a decent amount of time. Uh, so let's go ahead and run through it. So we have a couple large avocados here, some lettuce, green onion, cilantro, of course, our watermelon, some fresh oranges, which here they're actually green. We're gonna make some delicious fresh orange juice out of that. Uh, fresh coconuts, ginger for tea, as well as our um, other teas here, hibiscus. Fresh cheese from Seara, cage-free eggs, which are delicious. Some chocolate powder and chocolate milk. Hot sauce, of course, Snickers. Toscana linguisa, which is a very delicious, well-seasoned sausage here in Seara and uh, some croissants. So guess what the most expensive item is? And if you wanna see how we make meals out of this, out of what we bought today, be sure to follow us uh, for more. So thanks so much for watching. Look forward to seeing you in future videos.